Hey everyone, this is Film Conscience, where the voices in my head do the talking. Uh, and here they are. Here we've got the more critical, technical side of me. And uh, over here we've got the more emotional, intuitive side of me. So today we're going to look at Paranormal Activity, a uh, horror film about a couple that moved in together and there is, well, paranormal activity going on. They think there's a ghost in the house and that this thing may be following her. And, uh, yeah, it's about it. So, uh, I'm gonna let you guys take it away. Well, I mean, what is there to say? It's an incredibly generic, mediocre horror film that it doesn't offer anything new. And it just seems stale and tired. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I, I don't know how you can come to that conclusion. I mean, I didn't think it was generic at all, actually. I, I mean, it's, it's clearly we're coming back to the Blair Witch mockumentary style of filmmaking. But I actually kind of, I actually kind of think they, they re-energized the genre in a way, you know? Yeah. With what? Your traditional horror movie expositional dialogue and desperate need of an edit. Your, your two main characters that constantly parade themselves around as complete twats. The haunted well, house, oh my god. I mean, well, okay, the guy was kind of a douche, but it, it was his character. And I mean, he did play it pretty well, I thought. And she wasn't so bad. I mean, she was right most of the time, so really. But they were just so unbelievably bland. My god, I could have reached my hand into a bowl of cheers and scooped out a pile more colorful than those two. Hoy, it's just, you know, it, it, it's, it's an element of a horror film that you're supposed to be scared, right? Well, in order to have that, you're supposed to feel something for your main characters. Not wish that a demon would come along and just jab shish kebabs in their eyes and get it over with. Okay, first of all, that's not all there is to it. I mean, you know, I, I agree with you to an extent, but the, the, the tactics that the movie makers decided to use, I mean, the building and releasing of tension, that was nearly perfect, and you have to give me that. Second, you know, they may not have been the most well-developed characters, but I genuinely cared for them. Well, her. I mean, she was being followed around by a demon. A demon and a self-righteous asshole, so I mean, that's enough to, you know, win me over. I do agree that the film has a nice rhythm, but it doesn't excuse the fact that A, the characters have no personality, and B, the actors, they didn't even try to bring anything to it. I will, however, go back to what you were saying about the, the building and releasing of tension bit. Yeah? Well, it is good that they had the consistent pattern where you had the daytime scenes, which were obviously the release, and then the nighttime scenes that were supposed to be the scary parts. It was just such a shame that the daytime scenes were so incredibly pathetic. Well, I wouldn't go as far as to say they were pathetic. Please, I would rather watch paint dry on a fat, hairy man's back while he was watching Two and a Half Men. I mean, it was just painful. Okay, fine, that kind of did suck. Thank you. Although I wouldn't necessarily attribute it to the fact that the, the script was poorly written. I mean, it wasn't terrible. I mean, you know, it's kind of whatever, and you do have the occasional I've got a bad feeling about this line that could have been easily sliced. Anyway, I, you know, I, th I think that the main problem is the fact that the night scenes were so compelling and they were really the richest part of the movie and we just wanted to get back to that so I think you know that was the main no, but issue. you see that doesn't work I mean I agree with you but then the release of tension is gone and you need that or else you know you're you're suffocating in a sea of horror so then you did find it scary Yes, it was. There were parts that were scary. Parts? For me, you know, if it took place at night, it was horrifying. I, I mean, like, shit in your pants, and then go over to the next seat, and then shit in that guy's pants. Terrifying. Of all the wow. bad things I've been saying, I will give it credit that it is one of the horror films nowadays, one of the few horror films that actually succeeds in the fact that there is horror in it. I mean, it's not a lot to ask, but there are no movies that can do it, and at least this one was legitimately scary. Oh, God, and that ending. Yes, the ending oh, was unforgettable. That to say ending. The least. That ending will be forever burned into, into my brain. I mean, it's one of the few things I actually, if I, if I think about it, I will want to crawl under the nearest bed sheet. It is just, oh my God, outstanding. All right, you guys, I, uh, I think I've got enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
So here's my conclusion. Paranormal Activity is a movie that is both special and not special at the same time. I mean, yes, we've seen this style before, and yes, it kind of suffers the uh, usual horror film cliches, and it's by no means a groundbreaking film. But, you know, none of that really matters at the end of the day, because when I heard about this movie, I went to the movie theater expecting what I heard, uh, you know, was something that was actually scary, something unheard of nowadays, and it delivered. Huge. Like, it was incredibly scary, and I was very thankful for that, uh, because that's really all I wanted. So I was able to forgive the the kind of technical flaws, and there were a few, but uh, I really did enjoy this movie, and I would recommend it. So uh, there you go. This has been Film Conscience, where I let the voices in my head do the talking.